I rise today in support, and I, I want to congratulate uh, my colleague from New York, Ms. Maloney, for the incredible amount of work she has put in over the years with me and with others on trying to uh, improve the lives of those who survived September 11th, and hopefully my, uh, one of the main products of that work will be on the floor next week on the health care legislation. But today I rise in support of H.R. 4684, the National September 11th Memorial and Museum Commemorative Medal Act. Next year, our nation will mark the 10th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. It will have been 10 years since the most lethal terrorist attack ever committed on U.S. soil, when thousands lost their lives as planes were turned into missiles in the skies over New York, Pennsylvania, and right here in Washington, D.C. In the years that have followed, that day's events have been transformed from searing headlines to indelible history. To pay tribute to those who lost their lives and to those still suffering because of the attacks of 9-11, I have introduced this bill, the National September 11th Memorial and Museum Commemorative Medal Act. This bill will authorize the U.S. Mint to strike up to two million silver medals commemorating the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. The medals will be inscribed with the phrase, always remember, with the final design to be selected by the Treasury Secretary in consultation with the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. A surcharge of $10 on the sale of each medal will go directly to support the operations and maintenance of the National September 11th Memorial and Museum at the World Trade Center following the completion of the construction of the museum. These funds will help to preserve the history of 9-11 so that posterity will long remember the bra bravery and sacrifices of that day. Issuing a 9-11 commemorative medal is a simple but poignant way to mark the 10th anniversary of the attacks on our nation while simultaneously supporting the World Trade Center Memorial. I want to thank the more than 300 members of the House from both parties who have signed on to this bill as co-sponsors. I want to extend my special appreciation for the support given by Chairman Frank and Ranking Member Bacchus as this bill passed through the Financial Services Committee. I also want to thank the leadership of the House for bringing this bill to the floor. This medal will be a tribute to the terrible loss that we experienced on 9-11. And to truly honor those still suffering from the 9-11 attacks, we must finally provide them with the health care and compensation that their courage and sacrifice deserves. After the towers fell on 9-11, thousands of firefighters, police officers, paramedics, and volunteers from all across the country came to Ground Zero to search for survivors and to begin the rebuilding process. Once there, they, along with thousands of community members, students, and area workers, were exposed to toxic dust from the collapsed towers that filled their lungs and in many cases caused lasting health problems. It is our moral obligation to care for those who still bear the physical scars from this national tragedy. And along with Ms. Maloney, we are working with the leadership to bring the 9-11 Health and Compensation Act to the floor, hopefully next week. That bill is essential because the best way to truly pay our respect to the victims and heroes of 9-11 is with the proper health care and compensation for their 9-11 related injuries. But today, let us honor those whose lives were lost in the attacks of 2001 and commit to preserving the memory of 9-11 for future generations. With this bill, let us reaffirm that no matter the passage of time, we will never forget. I urge all of my colleagues to vote for this bill. I thank you and I will the House suspend the rules and pass H.R. 4684 as amended. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.